four, three, two, one. Hey, Shagheads, Curtis Tucker here with a Shaggy Live podcast. Thank you for tuning in for another episode. Don't forget, if you guys are listening to this on your favorite podcasting platform or app, that you can also watch this on Curtis Tucker uh, YouTube channel. And if you guys are watching this, and you are unable to watch the entire thing and you'd like to listen to it, then you can also listen to it on your favorite podcasting app. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and also subscribe to my podcast on whatever platform you guys are listening to. That really helps me out. And I appreciate you guys checking in. Uh, I was going to have an episode last week and got really busy moving the girls. Uh, got Cheney moved home from Fayetteville and then got Piper moved home from Norman. So basically, uh, we are uh, never really were empty nesters, but we've got both girls back at home actually like living, living here. So the house is full of stuff. We're trying to figure out where to put everything. And um, so I am just back for another episode for you guys. I had an episode that I had already started, and it is on the blog. But uh, you might wait on that, uh, and I will get that one put together and have it out either next week, probably next week. And, uh, and then this episode is actually going to end up being a two-part episode. Uh, so, and you guys will understand as I get into it, but uh, this one, this one should be a fun one. So this episode is called A Million Steps in May. And how did all of that come about? I'm basically, uh, this, the first part of this episode, I'm going to explain how it all came about and then where I'm at. And then the second part of this episode will explain how it ended and if I, if I was able to complete the challenge. So uh, if you guys know me at all, if you guys have been following the podcast or following me on Facebook or any of that good stuff, um, you know that I like to get out and do uh, a trail trek every morning. And usually, usually it's seven miles and half of it I run and half of it I fast walk and and by the time I get back it's an hour and a half and it is uh, about seven miles and then through the rest of the day uh, just doing my regular running around and all that good stuff I usually get in a total of 17,000 steps a day that's basically my average then you know if if we go do something or you know football game or Disney World or something like that you know then it's up into the 20s uh, high 20s and all that but just for on an average uh, and I don't track all this stuff but I was able to look at, a, at my health app and it basically said that you know on average for the last couple of years you're doing 17,000 steps a day and so so I like to stay in shape so I am uh, 61 uh, when I'm videoing this right now and recording this podcast I'm 61 years old and am looking at if you guys listen to the episode of me trying to make it to 102 years old you'll understand that uh, you know I'm wanting to stay in shape and looking for all these different things um, to help me with longevity and so um, and then also because of this podcast and, and my blog, I'm always looking at going on adventures and doing challenges and just doing fun and different things. And I, I think as I get older, uh, I think I'm going to be looking at more and more challenges. And so uh, Piper and I are looking at doing a half marathon next April, so April of 2025. And so I've been running a little bit more uh, than walking just to kind of build up my running so you know we can do a half marathon in less than two and a half hours that that'll probably be the goal so so all of that I've got all the walking and and all the exercising in the morning going on and everything and I had and as an Enid Buzz advertiser advertising a lot of things here in Enid I was aware of this um, I think it's it's walk this May in the spring and then there's a walktober i think they do it again in october and it's it's t set and it's an organization here in oklahoma that tries to keep people healthy and i think it's paid for through some funds set up by cigarette companies and so they, they do these challenges where they just challenge people in town to walk and you know which you can form a team or you can do it on your own and whoever wins weekly gets prizes and then whoever wins the overall deal gets prizes and so I had advertised it uh, the last couple of years on Enid Buzz trying to get people to sign up for 
this organization, and it, it I never really thought about joining. Um, I didn't know anything about it, had no idea how many people joined, how many steps, anything, anything at all, knew nothing about it. Um, and then a couple of months ago, maybe two, about two months ago, a month and a half ago, uh, my neighbor across the street, uh, Jason, he is a avid runner. And so he's got a streak of running a 5k every morning for like, I, I don't even know, 800 days maybe or something. Um, a lot of day. I can't remember how many days, but he's been doing it for, for quite a while. And so, or 400 days or something like that. But, um, so he, at some point in the day, every day goes out and runs a 5k, which I think is like 3.5 miles. Um, and so he posted on Facebook one day that he was going to be entering the walk this may challenge and he might uh, want to put together a team. Did anybody want to be on his team? And I just happened to catch it on Facebook. And because I knew I was already getting in 17, thousand I didn't know but I knew I was getting in a lot of steps every day because I was going out um, I thought oh I th so I, th I commented on his post something about hum I might be interested hum or something and um, so then later on we kind of talked about it and I said yeah I might want to sign up and so basically you had to sign up on your own and then when you signed up you told them what team you were wanting to be on and so like the the day before the deadline, there was a deadline to get in in April uh, to get a free T-shirt. And so he messaged me that night and he said, hey, this is the last day to get signed up to get the free T-shirt. And so I thought, oh, well, what the heck, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And so I signed up. Uh, in time to get the free t-shirt but um, at some point like maybe two weeks before May um, or a week I don't know somewhere in there they let you download the app and I think it's called Pacer Pace app the Pace app and on that app it's it hooks into your Apple watch and your phone and I think your health app, and it, it helps keep track of your steps. And that way, everybody that's in the challenge is on the Pace app for our local challenge. And so you can watch what everybody's steps are. So I signed up, and I knew I was going to be able to get 17. And then I, look, I had looked at my history, and I knew I was going to be able to be getting 17,000 steps a day anyway, whether I, you know, did the challenge or not. And so uh, I went ahead and signed up and I thought, okay, to make this a little more challenging, uh, I'm going to go 20,000 steps rather than just 17, you know, just to push myself a little bit. And for some reason, I ended up at 21,000 steps. So through April, I was averaging about 21,000 steps a day. And that was, and so I was in the lead. And like I say, April was just kind of a preview. They were trying to get people motivated and kind of your, everybody was kind of seeing who was doing what. And, and so I was pretty comfortably uh, in the lead at 21,000 steps a day. Uh, so basically the, as soon as I signed up for the app and downloaded it, uh, when it turned on, I was in first place with how, with the steps that I was doing. And so, um, you know, I was just kind of watching it, kind of having fun. And I thought, okay, so I can do this challenge. So every day in May, uh, my, my first inkling was if I do 21,000 steps a day, every day in May, I could win this thing. And so that was kind of my mindset and my goal going into the challenge. And so the, basically the challenge started on May 1st. And I noticed that, uh, you know, the last day of April, the, basically the last day of April, a bunch of people jumped in to the challenge. I guess they just kind of waited until the actual challenge started and they weren't, they weren't trying to be part of the preview. And so there was a lot of people that I didn't realize that were going to be in the contest. And so basically it started on May 1st and ended up being 107 people in our local challenge. And so um, throughout that first day, uh, so I had a couple of goals. One of the goals was to lose a couple of pounds 
And uh, on May 1st, I weighed in at 161.8 pounds. And I'd been kind of uh, going above that into the 162 range, you know, and it was kind of back and forth. And I think even one day, probably because of a lot of fluid, I had reached 163. And I was like, and, but I'm, I'm comfortable and I want to try to stay at 158 pounds. And I know that doesn't seem like a whole lot of difference between 158 and 163, but it really is. Um, and so, and I, and I can tell the difference. So my goal was to get back down to the 158. So that was part of my challenge. Uh, the, you know, the first part of the challenge was to get uh, 21,000 steps in and all that. So, so basically, um, I think it was a Wednesday morning was, uh, the first day, uh, May 1st. And so I took off and I went out and I pushed it a little bit in the morning and I got 16,000 steps on that first day, on the first morning. So basically by the time I went out and I got back home, which I usually um, get home by eight o'clock, I had 16,000 steps. And so I thought, okay, so I'm in good shape. You know, I don't have that many more steps to go to make my 21,000. But what I noticed was there were um, a lot of people that went above 21,000 steps uh, by mid-afternoon. And I was like, oh, wow. And then, then all of a sudden it dawned on me that, oh, okay, so this really is a challenge. This isn't just, you know, these people were, were just kind of hiding, you know, uh, in the background waiting for the challenge to start. And so I was like, okay, I'm actually going to have to push it today. And so... Uh, that afternoon, I went out and did another run. I think I went and ran for 30 more minutes that afternoon um, and got some more steps. And so basically throughout the day, I kind of worked my way up to 30,000 steps on the first day. And I noticed there was one contestant that came blasting through out of nowhere. And that person ended up at 34,000 steps on day one. And I think I pushed it... Um, and got 32,000. I didn't want, I could have, you know, just kept going and going and going and, and ended up in first place. But I, I thought, no, you know, I'm not going to do that. You know, basically 30,000 for me is a lot. Um, I don't know, you know, other than maybe going to Disney world, I don't know that I'd ever gotten 30,000 steps in, in one day before. So I thought, okay, I'm going to stop at 30,000. And then I was also thinking, okay, if this person is going to do 34,000 steps a day, they're probably going to win because I'm, I'm pushing it doing 30. Um, and so I'm not going to probably be able to do 34,000 every day. So, uh, ended that day in second place, but our team was in first place, and that was kind of the big deal is to try to get your um, team up there. And so, so day one uh, ended the day at I think about uh, thirty-two thousand steps in second place, and then day two I went out, and uh, this was the first time. Um, that I really, really pushed it, and I got 20,000 steps in the morning before I got back to the house. Now, it took me longer to get back to the house. I didn't get back by 8 o'clock. I think it was um, a little bit later, I think about 8.15. So I added about 15 minutes to my time, but I was able to squeeze in 20,000 steps. And so then all of a sudden I thought, okay, if I'm going to compete in this um, – I upped my goal from 21,000 steps a day to 30,000 steps a day. So basically, I changed uh, my challenge. And so I thought, okay, uh, I've got 20,000 steps in this morning. So throughout the day, I've just, I've got to get 10,000 more. And so that second day, um, I was like, okay, how am I going to get an extra 10,000 steps in? So what I did was on the second day was about every hour I would get up and I would either pace back and forth in the studio or go get a snack in the house and, and walk around the house while I was eating the snack, or I'd go outside and kind of uh, walk around the backyard. And so uh, basically trying to add a thousand steps every hour. Well, by the end of the day, um, I ended up with 34,000 steps. 
uh, thinking, okay, on this one day, I'm going to keep up with the person in the lead, but I'm not going to do that every day. Well, what happened was the person that had gotten the 34,000 steps on the first day didn't even get near that on the second day. You know, I, I don't, I didn't look where they were at, but let's just say they got like 15,000 steps on the second day. So they, they weren't, I guess, planning on trying to get 34,000 steps a day. They just happened to come out gangbusters and then, then they dropped off. So before I knew it on day two, I was way in the lead. Um, and so, and my team was in the lead as well, but then I got to thinking, okay, well, I've done this two days in a row and I got 34,000 steps on the second day. So, so let me go ahead and, and continue on with this 30,000 step a day goal. So that's what I was going to do. And, um, at that point, I think on day two, I was 12,000 steps ahead of the nearest competitor. So I thought, okay, this will be cool. And then maybe by the weekend, um, I can get a whole bunch of extra steps, get it, build up a lead. And then I can kind of coast, uh, through the rest of the contest. So day three, uh, kind of the same thing. Um, I think day three, I was out for an hour and 50 minutes. And so I am blogging about this on curtistucker.com and basically every day I kind of give a rundown on kind of what I did not in super detail and I am videoing a little bit so um, on this so so basically the reason this is a two-part uh, episode is I'm gonna tonight I'm gonna tell you everything that I've done to get to the halfway point and then the second half the other video, the part two of this episode will be what I did the second half of the challenge, the second half of May and, and basically how it turned out. And then that episode, the video will be a lot longer because it'll have some footage of me doing actually uh, getting my steps in and stuff like that. And then actually um, trying to meet my goal. So, so that's why it is a two part episode. So basically this is going to, this, episode is going to give you information from May 1st all the way to May 15th. And so tomorrow is May 16th. And so at noon tomorrow will be the halfway point of the contest. And so, and I'm not going to go into a huge amount of detail tonight on, um, you know, what's happened, what's happening to me injury wise or physically wise or any of that. I'm going to save all that for the uh, second part, and then I'll I'll kind of give you guys a rundown on okay, so this challenge, this is what happened during this challenge, and kind of give you guys an idea. So, uh, so basically, day three um, got another thirty thousand in, um, and our our team was in uh, first place, and so I think basically from day well, basically from day two on, I think we've been in first place pretty much the whole time. Uh, let's see, day four. Um, so and in Oklahoma, we're kind of in the rainy season. And so basically a lot of times in the morning and stuff, I'm having to dodge um, thunderstorms. And so uh, day four, I went out, ran into a thunderstorm, had to come back, um, had to do some pacing around the garage, which is just basically going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in the garage to get steps in until the rain stopped. And then I'd go back out on the trail and so um, on that day, I got 21,000 steps in in the morning. And then by the end of the day, um, I think I had gotten my 30,000 steps in. So everything was cruising along day five. Um, day five, um, I decided, so even, even by day five, my legs were starting to, I could feel it in my legs, like they were starting to get tired because I was doing a lot more running than what I normally did. So I decided on day five that I was not going to run, that it was going to be completely a full day of walking, which meant by the time I got back in the morning, um, in the morning, I did not have as many steps. And so uh, basically I had to do a lot of extra uh, walking in the house. I think it might have rained a little bit that day. And so I've got some footage of that. So basically just, I made kind of a, our house is pretty big and long. And so going from one end of my house to the other end, I can get in a lot of steps. But what I did was kind of in the central part of the house, I made kind of a, 
a figure eight. And so basically I, I would walk the figure eight to try to get in my extra steps. And for the first couple of days, my dog followed me the entire time, which was pretty crazy. But then uh, after about uh, four or five days, he did finally figure out that I wasn't going. He's got the he's got FOMO and uh, is afraid I'm going to leave him. And so, but, but like I say, about the fourth or fifth day of him following me, he finally uh, would sit in a chair and just sit there and stare at me as I went around. And I'm sure I'm probably wearing um, some holes in some carpet, but um, it can be a little challenging uh, getting all those steps in inside a confined space. And you do start to get a little bit dizzy um, when you're trying to get, you know, an extra 10,000 steps uh, inside. So I, I try not to get uh, too many at one time. Uh, I might try to get maybe a thousand to three thousand inside, and then I move on to other stuff. And then uh, if the weather clears up, I try to get outside. I would love uh, to be out on the trail the whole time, but um, time constraints and weather, uh, I'm not able to do that. And I don't have a treadmill. So basically, all of the steps that I'm getting in on this challenge are. Are, are step steps. I'm not doing any, I don't have a treadmill, so I'm not doing any treadmill. Um, and then doing like biking and things like that, it doesn't count. And I don't, I don't know that biking um, count, would count your steps even with an Apple watch on or not. I don't think it does. So, so basically it's, it's a walking uh, and basically running challenge. Um, Cause, and I, when I say run, when I run, it's not like I run, fast it's just it's like I jog uh, kind of I almost walk as fast as I jog but jogging gets me shorter steps and I think I get more steps in and I get further down the road quicker which gives me more time to get more steps in so when I say running don't think that I'm like sprinting or anything it's not it's definitely just a a jog with a lot of steps so that's my running um, and so day six, uh, and so, and then what I started doing was uh, getting up. I'm not getting up earlier, but I used to wait until 6.15. On a normal day, I would wait until 6.15, hit the trail, and be back by five or ten minutes until eight, depending on if I ran into somebody to talk to. Now, because of the challenge, I basically leave uh, my studio at six. And then I'm usually not back until after eight. So I'm getting a full two hours in every morning, trying to get 20,000 steps uh, by eight o'clock every morning. I don't make it every morning. I get between 18 and 20,000, just kind of depending on the day and where I'm at. So um, so day six was kind of uh, the same uh, as, as everything else. Um, took an afternoon break uh, after I got, had gotten my uh, 20,000 that morning and uh, ended up with 27,000 and then that evening at another 3,000 steps and so I think on that day day six um, I've, I've been kind of looking at adding extra challenges to the overall challenge and so one of these days I am uh, before this challenge is over I'm going to get in 40,000 steps on one day just to do it just to number one it'll give me a little bit of a cushion and then number two just to say you know one of the days I did get in uh, 40,000 steps I think there's one day on here and I'm not sure uh, I think I'll run into it here in a minute I did get 37,000 steps in on one day and I'm not sure why um, I may uh, find that but um yeah, so, so, and I still haven't yet, so that'll be, when you listen to the second part of the episode, uh, we'll find out if I got a 40,000 step day in, um, or if I got multiple 40,000 step days in, but, so anyway, cruising along, um, day six, uh, there was, uh, I think, a, more storms, but uh, weighed in uh, on day six at one 59.8 so a little bit of weight is starting to come off um, I was in first place at 109 189,000 steps and by that point I was 49,000 steps ahead of the person in second place uh, our team uh, was in first place with an average of a hundred and thirty thousand 
steps between the so our team started out with five but then one of the ladies her watch was kind of an off-brand watch it would not sync with the pace uh, i can't remember if it's pace or pacer app but i think pace uh wouldn't sync with the app and so she went ahead and dropped out of the challenge because her steps wouldn't have been counting so our team went that you could only have five you had to have at least two to make a team and no more than five and so basically our, our team ended up being four which um it's actually easier uh, to get your average up the fewer people you have on your team so the best teams are going to be two-person teams where both people get in a lot of steps and that those teams are going to be hard to beat but um, I don't think anybody in this challenge has any two-person teams I think everybody's either four or five people on their teams and so so basically day six we were in the lead um, I've got written here and I'm kind of reading some of my notes from my blog posts um, that uh, I was feeling the effects of all those steps on the bottom of my feet and I could feel it in my legs uh, day seven it was a clear morning went out um, I came back with only 18,000 steps uh, after two hours but uh, I added another thousand steps in the driveway basically going back and forth and then added another thousand steps that morning uh, while like I say feed the dog eat breakfast watch a little bit of news and rather than just sitting there or standing there I just continuously walk around and, and basically before you know it you can add a lot of steps so so if there's some of you out there that um, or thinking, you know, you want to start exercising, but you just want to do something really easy, but you, you want to, you know, do something, um, try this walking deal and you'll be surprised at how many steps you can get in by just, uh, you know, get up every hour, walk around your studio or your room for maybe five minutes. And then if you're having an afternoon snack or if you're eating lunch or dinner and you're eating something that you don't have to be sitting at a table, eat while you're walking around watching tv and then at night when you're watching tv kind of walk around in front of the tv and i i, I promise by the end of the day you're going to get at least i would guess an extra three thousand steps uh, that you normally weren't getting and then think about that um think about that at the end of a month if you were getting an extra three thousand steps in every day at the end of the month and then at the end of the year um number one it's going to you're going to be a lot more active and a lot healthier, but you're also going to probably lose a little bit of weight. So, and then you may also kind of become not, I don't want to say addicted, but you may all of a sudden be like, Oh wow, that 3000 extra 3000 steps a day feels kind of good. And then maybe that will motivate you to get 6,000 steps a day and, and kind of on and on and on. So it's really, really easy to get um, a few extra thousand steps in a day. Now, squeezing 30,000 in is not easy 20,000 is not easy um, but an extra three to six thousand throughout the entire day is is really um, pr would be within the reach of just about anybody okay so day eight uh, well end of day seven I, I ended um, so day seven would have been the end of the week so the end of the first so basically this challenge is the person that gets the most steps for the month wins a free pair of athletic shoes the team with the highest average throughout the month they all get a 50 dollars gift certificate to buy athletic shoes at the shoe store and so that's the overall but then every week they have team challenges so so for week one a team would win and then at week two everybody starts at zero for the week and then then they do the second week challenge and then the third week challenge and then the fourth week challenge but all of those steps do count towards your overall challenge so so basically you could win at the end of the month you could win the whole month but maybe one of those weeks you were on vacation and you didn't get very many steps in and you might lose one week so so they've got that broken down but um but at the end of week one uh, I ended up with 220,000 steps, and I was in first place, and our team uh, was in first place. But I got to thinking, wow, you know, there's still 
like uh, 25 days left on this deal. So day eight, uh, everything started over. Uh, like I say, I had 22,000 steps total, but for week two, I had zero. So we all started over at zero. And uh, basically, I zipped out. And I think on that day, I had dropped down to 158.8. So basically, basically, I my goal is to be 158.0. So I was 158.8 that day. So I definitely had started trending down on my weight. Um, and uh, basically, by the end of that day... Oh, another good way of getting steps in was that day I got a phone call and I think I had like a 30 or 40 minute phone conversation. Well, the entire time I was on the phone, I kept walking. I think I went outside and I was walking everywhere. And by the end of the day, on that day, I'd gotten 34,000 steps in. And a lot, like I say, a lot of that was added on, uh, I think at least 3,000 steps I added on just being on the phone. So, so basically just walking around in my studio or the house or the backyard, I can usually get a thousand steps every 10 minutes. Now that seems like a lot, but that would only be 6,000 steps an hour. When I go out on the trail, I can get about 6,500 steps in 30 minutes if I really, really boogie, which I only boogie out and then I start to slow down. So, so getting a thousand steps every 10 minutes is, is pretty slow, but, um, you know, when you're only needing to add a thousand here or there, uh, getting on the phone and walking around will really add some extra steps. So anyway, got uh, 34,000 steps at the day, end of day eight, day nine, uh, was a great weather morning. I went out for two hours, came back with 19,000 steps. Um, I jogged most of the way, um, did a little bit of walking, but then I got an extra thousand steps when I ate breakfast. I weighed in at 158.2 again. So basically, you know, once you start hitting that same weight day after day after day, then it's, you know, it's not water weight coming off or, or going on that you're actually starting to lose weight. Um, basically, every day I go to lunch and run some errands, which adds at least another thousand steps. Uh, I think I had another phone call that that night, got an extra 2,000 steps on the phone. That was the day that I ended. Um, so day nine, I ended the day with 37,000 steps. Um, and my daily average at that point was 32,500 um, a day, and I had a total of 291,600 291, uh, total steps on day nine. So then uh, comes day 10, basically just another regular day, was out for two hours, got 19,000 steps. Oh, that was a day, uh, it was a Friday. Day 10 was a Friday and I had to go to Fayetteville. So I was worried about that weekend because I had to go to Fayetteville on Friday, Norman on Saturday, had to stay in Norman on Sunday before I headed back and had lots of graduation, graduation party, had to move people, pack everything. So I was worried. That's why I had been trying to get a little bit ahead of 30,000 steps a day. And that's why I got 37,000 that one day, just because I thought I might need a buffer. If I missed a day, it's, if I, if I miss a day, it's going to be really hard to make up that day. 30,000 steps is, you know, number one, you got to get 30,000 steps in you know, just to stay even. But if I were to miss a day, I'd have to get 60,000 steps in, in one day, or, you know, of course I could spread that out, but it's just adding a lot more pressure and a lot more steps. So, um, so I, I've got to get, you know, if, if something were to happen, you know, at least a minimum of 20,000 steps a day, and then it wouldn't be that hard to catch back up. But anyway, so I got uh, 19,000 steps in, loaded up, and I drove to Fayetteville. Uh, Luckily, uh, I was helping my daughter move, so there was a lot of in and out of the trailer, up and down stairs, 
and um, basically I drove back to Enid and I think uh, the weather was like perfect when I got back to Enid there was no wind at all so I went for a walk around the neighborhood and I, I did finish that Friday after driving to Fayetteville and coming back with 30,000 steps. Then the next day, I got up, got another 19,000 steps in the morning, but then had to drive to Norman uh, for two different graduations. So here's kind of a funny thing. So the graduations were indoors at the Lloyd Noble Center on the OU campus. And basically, there was the speeches and the ceremony before. And then the these are like huge graduations with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of um, graduates and so basically I, I would know where the person was that I was there to see graduate and I would leave my seat and go up at the top of the Lloyd Noble and walk around the entire arena a couple times just to get um, number one to stretch and, and not be as bored but then I was able to get in a whole bunch of steps there at the Lloyd Noble especially because there was two graduations so uh, on day 11 uh, in Norman I was able to get in my 30,000 steps um, day 12 again I woke up in Norman and I thought and I know uh, like during football season a lot of times I would not go for a run or a walk um, usually when we're out of town because it just wasn't that big of a deal but because I was in the contest I'm in this challenge and I didn't want to miss any days um, I did wake up at six and I decided our Airbnb that we were staying at in Norman was about a mile from the OU campus so I thought well I'm going to run to the OU campus and just run around the campus and that'll be fun so that's what I did got up ran over there happened to catch a like several several hundred seniors in the fountain in front of the football stadium and I think they had been there all night partying and um, so that was kind of fun took pictures of that kind of ran around that um, and basically uh, got 20,000 steps in before I went back to the Airbnb and then um, had a graduation party drove back to Enid and then when I got back to Enid I went on a 45 minute walk and I got my 30,000 steps in again. Um, I think I added another 2,000 that evening just to uh, kind of pad, basically get, get some extra steps. Uh, day 13 would have been a Monday, uh, back on the trail like normal. Uh, it took me two hours, and, and I think I was running pretty quick, and I was able to get 20,000 steps in. Uh, in two hours, basically weighed in again at 158.2, um, then did my normal routine of going out uh, for lunch and running errands and then pacing uh, basically here in, this is in the studio, sometimes I, you know, can add a thousand steps here or there, uh, so got another 30,000 in that day, uh, day 14 was basically another uh, carbon copy of everything else, although I ended um, so day 14 was the end of week two, and um, somebody was catching up with me that day on steps, and I so that kind of motivated me to keep going. So I ended up day 14 at 35,000 steps, and again, that was the end of week two. So at the end of week two, I was still in the lead, and our team uh, won week two so our team won week one and week two and we were basically in the lead overall for me individually and our team and so for the month I was at 452,496 steps and our team was at 290,632 average uh, between the four of us steps which kept us in um, first place and then day 15 which would be today um, so I got up today well actually yesterday I think is the day I thought of this no it was today so today so I got up today which is the beginning of day of week three and then tomorrow the 16th is our 50 halfway point of the challenge um, and so today start of week three 
uh, went out and ran, um, but ran into a storm, had to come running really fast back to the house and uh, made, it, made it just in time before it started raining, had to do some of the pacing in the garage. As soon as it stopped raining, I went back out. So I, But I ended up being out um, for three hours uh, this morning, but only ended up with like 23,000 steps by the time I got back, just because of rain and talking to people and taking pictures and um, not pushing it super hard. Um, but so it, it is time consuming to try to do uh, one of these challenges. And the only way that I get away with uh, getting all these steps in is working for myself and then working from home. And I know there's probably a lot of people in this challenge that could have kept up with me, but they have jobs and that prevents them from being able to just get extra steps in. So that's one of the advantages I have over a lot of people that are in the contest is just not having to be at a place of work where you can't get steps in. But um, so today I was out um, on the trail and there's a, a guy that I've known for a long time that he rides his bike and sometimes we'll run it we basically run into each other every morning that he's out and we'll stop and talk and so this morning he asked me how it was going and I showed him the app and showed him where I was and he made a comment and said are you going to try to do a million steps and at one point I had looked into it like like a week ago and I was like how you know how many steps would I have to get in every day to make a million? Well, I think at 30,000, I was going to come in at about 900,000 steps for the month. And I thought, you know, getting that extra 100,000 is going to, would be tough. You know, I don't know that it's worth the trouble. So I, I kind of blew it off, not really thinking about it. But he asked um, about doing a million. And, and while I, when I was showing him, you know, how many steps I'd gotten in, I was at like four, 470,000. And then it dawned on me that by tomorrow morning, by noon, so noon will be halfway, the halfway point. So half of the day goes on the first half and the second half of the day will go on the second half. And I get my 20,000 steps in the morning, which I will have 500,000 steps by the halfway point tomorrow. And so today I basically made the decision that I'm going to turn this into my own uh, million steps in May challenge. And so now so I figured it up, and to get a million steps in a 31-day month, I need to average 32,360 steps a day. Well, I, that's what I'm averaging, uh, actually just a little bit above that. And so since I was already averaging that, um, I've decided to just go ahead and push it and try to do that every day and then in the month at a million steps. And so that's what the uh, second part of this episode is going to be about. Did I make uh, a million steps? And if I did, how hard was it? What did I do to get there? What were some of the benefits, some of the downfalls? Um, and then, like I said, starting tomorrow, I will try to do a little more videoing of me getting my steps in and, and all that stuff. And then at the end of it, I can throw a video together that it will not only have me doing the second part of the podcast, but then I can mix in some footage of uh, the trail. I'll show you guys the trail where I run. I'll show you my figure eight in the house. I'll show you what it looks like me um, getting some steps in here in the garage and in the studio and then in the backyard and all that good stuff. So that that is it. That's my big announcement on this podcast episode is that I am going to try to get in 1 million steps in the month of May, and uh, tomorrow I will be halfway there. And so I looked it up, and I googled how, how far is a million steps, and I think somebody kind of rounded it and and several places and they may have been you know taking the information off of whoever first posted it but they were saying that's about 500 miles another place that i uh, saw like on reddit or something 
Uh, somebody had it closer to 400 miles. But so anyway, uh, and it all depends on how, you know, how far, how long your your stride is. You know, for me, I'm taking really short strides, so I'm not really getting a lot of distance. Um, so let's say it's anywhere between four and 500 miles. I'm probably more towards the 400 miles. But anyway, so that's basically how many miles I am going to get in this month, anywhere between four and 500 miles. But I will try to get in one million steps. Um, so that is my goal. And um, again, if you guys want to follow along, uh, go ahead and read. I, I try to update the blog post every day with what went on that day. But um, at the end of, uh, so basically at the end of May, maybe that first week in June will be my podcast, the second part of this podcast episode, which we'll be talking about, did I make it? You know, anything could happen. Um, if there was a day or two that I didn't, um, I don't get my steps in, I, there's probably almost no way I'm going to make it. Um, or if I get an injury or, you know, who knows, there's just all kinds of stuff. But it looks like I'm on track to win. I think I'm a hundred and like 130,000 steps ahead of my closest competitor at the halfway point uh, for the challenge. And so basically being that far ahead, if I see anybody catching up, I'll just keep adding m more steps. Um, so anyway, so I will uh, keep you guys. So there's several things going on. Uh, number one, did I win the, the actual challenge, personal challenge? Uh, did our team win the uh, challenge? Did I make a million uh, steps in May? And uh, did I get a 40,000 step day in? So these are all little goals, little challenges that are going to be going on. And then I may even add more. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. But anyway, I appreciate you guys checking in. That's basically all I have. Uh, that's kind of how I got into this uh, goofy challenge. Um, at, at this point, I'm saying I'm one and done. Um, I really enjoyed getting my 17,000 steps in a day. It was more casual. I was not at risk of injury. Doing all of these, uh, doing 30,000 steps a day, I feel like there is um, a chance of injury or over, you know, overworking your muscles and stuff. But again, I'm, I'm looking at this like this is just a one month deal and then it's done. Then I'm going to go back to normal. Um, the next challenge that comes up, I don't think um, I'm going to join. Um, I think this is just kind of a fun fun one and done monthly thing that I can say that I did and then I'll just go back to kind of uh, my usual routine and and do some training and then hopefully we'll set a goal and do the half marathon um, next April I'll be 62 and again I think at this point my goal will be to make the half marathon in less than two and a half hours and that's that's going to be the goal if not you know, if, if, if I get to training and I see that that's going to be um, really easy, then we'll move that goal to a quicker time. But at this point, that's kind of what I'm looking at. So anyway, thanks for checking in. You guys can email me at uh, shags at shaggyduck.com or curtis at curtistucker.com. But uh, go ahead and uh, hop over to the blog. You can read what's going on there. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash curtis tucker and subscribe to the podcast, whichever platform you guys are listening on and that way you guys can keep updated on all of my episodes i am uh, gonna keep trying to get a new episode every week i think as i get into this routine it makes it easier um, now that the girls are home i don't have football games i'm gonna have a whole year of not having to chase the girls around and so i should have a lot more time be able to get more podcast episodes in if you guys have some ideas on some challenges or adventures that you think would be fun to follow me along with or something that you've done that you think I should try let me know uh, send me an email and I would look into it but yeah so I'm looking for more challenges after this one and more fun things to do just to kind of basically have something to look forward to and and some things to do so um 
send me your ideas. I appreciate it. So I'm going to get out of here and I will talk to you guys soon. See ya.